So I'm gonna try to work on this window again. If you wanna know the story behind this broken window, it's in my last video. And I was trying to fix this window in my last video, but things didn't really go so well. But long story short, I'm gonna tape all this busted glass that's still here so it doesn't get everywhere. And then I'm gonna take these plastic chisels and a hammer and get the glue out from behind the glass. And then I'll clean it up, get it ready for when I go to the junkyard, get another piece of glass off a different van, and put it on this van. For those of you who are just joining the channel, we're doing 30 days in the garage, 30 videos, 30 days. It's usually motorcycle stuff. This is a little bit off the beaten path here, but I guess there's a bunch of random stuff so far. Typically, motorcycle stuff. For now, I kind of have an emergency here where I need to be able to put my daughter back in my car so I can take her places. Um, and I don't really like putting her in a car full of shattered glass, so gotta take care of some business. Gotta do some business. It's business time. Business van. I'm gonna start taping this bad boy. I'm like getting PTSD from this whole thing. This is where I left the tape when the bee attacked. Yeah, what I was saying is I'm not much of a bee guy. Some people let bees crawl all over them and I just, I can't, I'm not about it. I don't trust them. Maybe honeybees, you know, bumblebees or whatever. But that guy was, that guy was black and white. He looked like a pretty scary, like a hornet kind of guy. Not taking my chances with that thing. Uh, tape rolled back on itself and now I gotta find it again. And it's split. <laughs> Isn't that so relatable? <laughs> it's like, Whenever you're using tape, you know, and it's clear, it's just so relatable how it sometimes tapes back to itself and you can't find it. <laughs> Move it out here, get full contact with the tape. There's just glass everywhere in here. I'm never gonna be able to get it all out. Never say never. I'm gonna be able to get it all out. One more safety precaution I wanna do. One, I was actually thinking that the safety crocs were a bad idea. So I'm going to protect myself from getting little shards of glass in my shoes, cutting my feet by doing this. It's probably gonna work out. No glass going in my shoes. Feet are gonna get hot in here and sweaty. Better than bloody. Incredible. No glass in my socks. Now I gotta figure out what's the best angle of attack to get this chisel in there behind the window to get the glue. I mean, I think it's gonna be from the inside. Oh. Tape's just coming off. I can't see a thing with these heckin' glasses on. Okay, windshield removal kit came with this little doogad. I did not Google how to use this. I imagine you jam this knife in under the thing and then you pull it, probably. Oh! oh. Oh, the nails on the chalkboard. Maybe I can get it started a little bit better with a knife. Just, just stab it. I am definitely scratching the paint. Okay, so I made a little knife mark. And I'm just gonna shove this chisel in the knife mark. Oh, that seems to be working very nicely. Oh yeah, now the chisel's cutting the glue itself. But the knife was, oh, it's like ruined. There's glass falling on my boot, but I ain't worried about it going in. This is not going horribly. This bead of glue is pretty thick and I cut the knife through there just to get the chisel started. And once I got the chisel through, it kind of started gliding its way along there and uh, it seems to be cutting through the bead pretty well. This chisel is, I would give it a medium useful. I think it's still doing its job. 
This coconut juice has been in my van, in this cup holder for I think maybe, what has it been, a year and a half? Almost two years now? If you know how long that's been there, comment down below. Oh, I'm just pulling, oh, this is going real nicely. Just give it a little tug on the glass and a little rub with the knife and she just comes right off. You'll rub and tug. Look at that, I don't even need the dang chisel. Where the glass is thicker here, it's hard to get at it. So I'm just gonna take the knife and cut the tape. Oh, this is awful, it's getting glass everywhere. Oh, oh I don't love to see that. Look at that. That's why we got the squints. All right, in this hard to reach spot, with this thing in the way, I think the chisel will. You know what? I'm not huge on the plastic chisel, I'm not gonna lie. I think I need a scraper. Plastic chisel kinda let me down. So I'm gonna go with this metal scraper. This might be the way to go, ladies and gentlemen. Just get a nice metal scraper and the only downside is probably scratching the paint here. Probably gonna cause a rust spot in the long term. But you know, on the 2003, I mean, I'm lucky it's even moving. There's a cricket in here somewhere. Look at that. Just barely tapping it. It's just going right through. That is satisfying. Clean. Look at that. There's so much glass on the floor here. It's getting stuck in my boots. I gotta scrape this glue off of here to put the new glue on for the new window. But first I'm gonna sweep. If you don't have a broom and dustpan like this in your shop, you gotta get one. Post a link in the description below. And that'll be an affiliate link. It's for money. Appreciate you. Also, if you hit the like button, that helps too. I mean, if you like. Last thing I'm gonna do to get ready for the new window is uh, scrape it. Scrape that old glue off. I think they make plastic blades you can put in these, which would be best case for not damaging the paint and causing rust in the future. But for the old 2003, it's uh, not, not a huge priority to me. So I'm just gonna use this. This scraper's awful. Yeah, there goes the paint. It's just, I can't fit it in here. I'm not gonna make it a priority to scrape every little speck of glue off of here. I'm just gonna scrape the high spots just so it's all relatively level or re relatively even. And uh, I'm just gonna hope and pray that the glue I bought, man, this freaking cricket. <laughs> He makes me feel like all my jokes are just bombing. I get it, dude. The glue scraping is boring. Basically, I'm just gonna get the thick parts off and then I'm just gonna f just put so much glue on there when I put the new window on that it's not even gonna matter. I just broke the razor blade in half. Well, we got the old window off. Most of the glue is off. Before I put the new window on, I'll make sure to clean this up with some acetone. But I gotta be done. That cricket's driving me bonkers right now. Thanks for watching. Tune in tomorrow. 30 videos, 30 days. Hit the like button. If you're not subscribed and you like motorcycles and also random van projects, do it. Do it. See you tomorrow.